Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how I created this realistic rain animation in After Effects CC. If you are a rain lover, smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for more exciting tutorials. Anyway, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Rain Animation. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 10 or 20 seconds. Go to the file menu. Then import the required videos. Drag the cloud footage to the composition. Let's preview it. As you can see, the clouds are moving too fast. And the video duration is only 15 seconds. So, let's make it longer. Right click on the clouds footage layer. Go to time. Then select time stretch. Set the stretch factor value from 100 to 225%. The footage duration is extended to 34 seconds. Let's preview it again. Now, the clouds are moving slowly but not moving smoothly. Let's make it smooth. Again right click on the clouds footage layer. Go to frame blending. And choose pixel motion. It will make our video, nice and smooth. Let's see the changes. Cool. Now, the clouds are moving slowly and smoothly. This is what we want. I am happy with the results. Now, drag another footage, just above the clouds footage. Go to the toolbar, and select the pen tool. I am going to add a layer mask on a field. I don't need the tornado scene. Let me do it faster, to save your time. Select the tornado footage. And press F to open mask feather. Then change the feather amount to 10 pixels. Select the clouds footage. And press S to open scale properties. Then change the scale value to 125%. Select the move tool and slightly drag the footage just like this. Let's see what we've created so far. Amazing. Now, it's time to create the lightning. So, go to the toolbar and select the ellipse tool. Set the fill to solid white color. And stroke to none. Then hold the shift and alt key on a keyboard. And make a circle. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect Gaussian blur. Then drag and drop to the shape layer. And change the blurriness value to 300. Set the blur dimensions to horizontal and vertical. Move the time cursor to about 1 second on the timeline. And go to the edit menu. Then split layer. Delete the newly created shape layer. We don't need it. Select the shape layer, and press T to open opacity properties. Then add a keyframe, and change the opacity value to 0%. Go to 15 frames forward, and change the opacity value to 100%. Go to about 1 second forward, then change the opacity value back to 0%.
Select the shape layer. And press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Then drag the duplicated layer for 2 seconds. And change the circle position. Again repeat the same process 5 to 10 times. Let me do it faster, to save your time. Finally, I have created about 20 shapes with different position. Select all shape layers. Right click, and choose pre-compose. Rename it to lightning. Change the blending mode from normal to overlay. Cool. Looks good and more realistic. Before we move to the next step, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more interesting tutorials. It's time to create the rain. So, go to the layer menu. New, and select the solid. Rename it to the rain. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect of CC rainfall. Drag and drop to the screen. We can't see anything, right? No worries, just change the layer mode from normal to screen. Perfect. Let's change some settings. Change the drop from 5000 to 20000. Change the wind to 1000. Change the variation percent to 35. Let's preview it. Cool. The results are amazing. Let's import the lightning strike transparent footage, and the rain sound effect. I will add the download link in the description. Drag the lightning strike footage to the composition. Right click on the lightning strike footage layer. Go to transform, and select flip horizontal. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the effect Hue and Saturation. Drag and drop to the lightning strike footage. Change the master hue to 320 degrees. Finally, drag the rain and thunder sound. I have downloaded from Free Sounds website. I will add the link in the description. Now, split the lightning strike footage into two parts. Move the second lightning strike to the ground. Let's check the final results. 
Fantastic. I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rain.